question or did you already? Is this I'm on? asking it right Hi. now. Hi. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. I meet Joel there a lot. Yeah, okay. Are Thanks for help. Are you <laughs> No, you're Probably not. not. People no. love this raw stuff, mm. and you're the best raw right. interview I've ever done. Um, Joel, can you put your pants back on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. So See, I have, a, I have a theory. <laughs> I, have a the I have a theory that a man couldn't be as no. raw as you on stage. No, he couldn't. It would be offensive. Like, if you told me to yes. put my pants back on, and be like, Joel. Or if I was on stage saying bullshit and what you say, I think... I'm not sure a man could get away with that. Oh, really? Not that this was what the interview was supposed to be about. I try very hard not to say fuck. Like, I usually say that I'm a fuck-up when, like, uh -huh. when I graduated. I didn't because I'm trying to, like, play straight. But could a man say those things that you say, or would they be viewed differently? Can a woman get away with it more, more so than a man? Um, in bed, a man gets away with it more. In a career fair, a woman does. Great yeah. answer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the interview. Uh -huh. um, you said in your keynote that millennials, or Generation Y, don't go to job boards. Can you expound upon that? Well, they don't need jobs. So if you're desperate, you go to a job board, and if you have a lot of job offers, then you just hang out with your friends, and your friends say, hey, I know a really good job, and you say, oh, whatever, I already have a really good job, and your friend says, no, it's really, really, really cool. Dude, you've got to check it out, and then you go check it out. That's how they find their jobs. And you said that companies hoping to attract these people should start a blog, which I totally agree with, but can you expound <laughs> upon what that should look like and how it should be set up for a company? Well, it's not just that they should blog. They should, like, participate in a conversation. So a lot of companies think, you know this, that they, like, put up a blog and just start spouting their bullshit company press releases. And that's not really a conversation. Mm -hmm. That's just them spouting bullshit in another format. But if they're, like, actually commenting on other people's blogs and understanding the blogosphere, then it's like a back and forth conversation. Right. And it's a whole different way of thinking about how to run a company. And then you'll have connections with people. And that's, like, really brand building to make people connect with you and who you are. And then they'll want to work with you. So it's... It's like going to a bar. You can't like hit on someone before you talk to them. And the same is true with recruiting. You, you have to first know them. That It's a new market. And so I think that the best way to recruit is to do it through the blogosphere, to join a conversation. Great. If, if in a fantasy land you were overseeing a job board, uh -huh. what would you do to evolve to this new landscape? Um, I would first aggregate all the bloggers who are in high demand at the workplace, like I've already done. <laughs> at, at what site is that, Penelope? <laughs> okay, um, do you have a pen, Joel? <laughs> I do. Okay, <laughs> take it out. BrazenCareerist.com. <laughs> Excellent. And employee you. evolution as well is probably I actually try not to way. plug them because oh, if their traffic I goes up, I plugged them, when didn't. their traffic goes up, they give me more shit than if their traffic's down. So I'm more leveraged when their traffic's okay, down. Okay, so don't go to employeeevolution.com. Uh -huh. right, yeah. uh -huh. Thanks for your time, Penelope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>